Julie, Rob, you can st still see crews working hard out here in the Haida Hills neighborhood in Bellevue, and OPPD says the outages should be fixed by tomorrow night, and that's in line with the four to five day timeline they initially gave after Friday's storm, which knocked out power for 76,000 customers. This sound is keeping Jan and Ed Connolly's home running. You don't realize what electricity not having electricity does and not having water. The couple lives in the Hanson Lake community just south of Bellevue. That was very heavily hit, really treed area, and, and uh, we're doing a lot of individual work down there, a lot of roads closed down there still. It went clear across the driveway up to our basketball hoop, and you can see leaves in the basketball hoop. The storm sucked a massive tree out of the Connolly's yard, just missing their home. <laughs> how big a cross it is. Besides losing this tree and their power, the couple fared pretty well. We can run some fans on our power, on our generator, so we've got our refrigerator and refree freezer and we can make coffee and toast and run some fans and have a few lights so it's livable. With each repaired line, OPPD crews say they're close to getting the Connollys and thousands of others back on. I would expect us to be under a thousand by the end of the day today, unless something else goes on. Crews now working slowly but surely in heavily damaged areas between Plattsmouth and Bellevue. Be patient with us. We're, we're almost there. Uh, we know it's tough to be out for that long. Uh, we, we encourage patience. The Connollys say they're perfectly content waiting it out. No, we're fine. We'll stay out. It's like camping. <laughs> OPPD says it is on track to restore all the power outages or nearly all the power outages by tomorrow night, getting the number of outages to less than 100. Reporting live in Bellevue, Taylor Barth, KETV News Watch 7.